What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, and today what we're going to do is we're going to show you this little camera right here. We're going to unbox this little camera. We're going to set up a little network. Uh, and of course, if you're getting into live streaming, maybe you've, you're needing a new camera for your conference calls. Maybe you're going to be doing some, I don't know, some videos, uh, live stream videos. Maybe you're going to be recording some stuff, uh, different things, different ideas, different ideas for different people and so what we've got here is the OBS Tiny which is a great little camera pan tilt zoom camera and in fact let me show you it right here this is me now there's a little bit of delay because it's going through another computer to another computer to to get here uh, so a slight delay uh, but this is the OBS Tiny camera this is sitting on top of my oh actually it's sitting on top of my portal you can see it right here uh, and as you can see, it's not that big and you can put it on top of your laptop. You can put it on top of your, your monitors. You can put it on a tripod, uh, many different ways to set it up and go from there. We're going to be talking about that. Of course, uh, hey, you know, go ahead and follow me over at uh, Geekazine. So OBS bot uh, goes up to 1080p. Uh, and uh, it uh, basically will turn with you. So this is perfect for if you are doing any type of demonstrations, like if you have a whiteboard or something like that behind you and you want to uh, show off, you know, talk about certain things, it'll do a quick zoom, a zoom of 2x for the zoom, but still it'll zoom a little bit so you can get closer to your subjects. 1080p, 30 frames a second in video. Uh, you can definitely go 720 if you need to. And so what we're doing today is we're going to unbox these two and then we're gonna set up the whole system, a three camera system to kind of give you an idea of how you could do something very similar to what I do. And you know, cause I have my camera and then I have this camera right here and then my PTZ camera, the overhead camera, which shows uh, of course the unboxing itself. So we're gonna start here. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed fairly straightforward. So here we go, uh, this basically the camera and then we got a bunch of stuff on top here. So let's, uh, let's pop out the camera. A little tough to take out. Grab it by here. That's probably that's the best I've found here. So we'll set that there. And then we got a little box here. Pop that out. And we'll open that up. And inside we have some of the cords and the mount. So, and that's pretty much it. Uh, on the bottom, we have some documentation including the user manual and the warranty card. So important things to have. We're gonna keep those in the box. I think that's everything that's in the OBS Tiny. Now, as you can see, it's pretty small. So uh, let's see, I got a mouse here. We'll just kind of compare it with the mouse. As you can see, that's not that much bigger. Or actually, the mouse I think is, yeah, it's about the same size, yeah. And about the weight, the weight is you know, a little heavy. You know, so so it doesn't blow off the stand or anything like that, I suppose. So what we've got in here, we've got two items. Let's uh, first of all, we've got the cord, standard uh, USB A to USB C cable, and we'll stretch this out. And you want to you want to be kind of careful when you're stretching out the cable. So there's the cord right there. It looks to be about oh, about three feet, I would think, a meter, a meter cable. And one end's got USB-C, the other end's got USB-A. So next up, this is the mount. Now this camera on the bottom, you do have a camera, uh, a mount for a tripod or monopod or whatnot. So you can definitely hook this up to any type of camera. It's got a magnetic base. And the cool thing about this magnetic base is you can set this on top of a monitor. This will come up on top. And as you could hear that little click, that's the magnetic mount. And as you can see, it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. In fact. The one over here, this is the uh, this is the one I have set up right now. So basically, as you can see, it's on its magnetic mount. This is uh, actually a Facebook portal mini that's underneath it. So it's sitting there and you can adjust the back of the stand so you can tilt this forward, tilt it back and go from there. So as you can see, fairly easy to set up and uh, set up onto a monitor. One of them we're gonna set up on a monitor. In fact, I've got a monitor right here that will set up to point to me. And then I've got a tripod over here, which we're gonna set the third one up on. So this one, uh, we, will, we will definitely do that. We've got, like I said, the cable. So what we're gonna do is we're going to hook up this cable. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a different plan. I'm gonna use my coffee cup to put the camera on, because you can do that. And I lost the cable, that's too bad. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna put it on here so it will actually, look at that, stays right on the, on the coffee cup. So you can put this thing on almost anything. Now on the back, we do have a five volt plug in here. So I'm guessing uh, if you get the right Canon plug, you can uh, do a Canon to USB since it's five amps. I'm pretty sure that that'll hook up to a USB, uh, USB A or C or whatever. Now what we're gonna do is we've got another one to unbox because we're doing a three camera setup. And for this one, this is gonna go on a tripod. So there it is right there. Bring this in here. I wanna lower it down anyway. So in this case, I don't have a head on here, so it's just gonna attach to the top like this. As you can see, I'm screwing it on, pulling it on like that. Let's go over, everything's working. This will still work, yes, there we go. This is the software right here. We'll just kind of minimize this so you don't see that. And of course, we got the, all the settings on here. We can, we can move the camera around. That's a little joystick on the right side. We can reset the gimbal. We've got three cameras set up, so you'll see a one, a two, and a three. That's to figure out which camera you're gonna be doing. You can lock the AI tracking. These things do have AI tracking. So that basically means if I move, it moves. And if, uh, if, I, if I give it certain gestures, hand gestures, it will follow those hand gestures as well. But you can also set it to lock the AI tracking. So if you're not planning to move, that lock will lock the uh, camera in place so it doesn't follow you. So I can have two of these cameras locked and the third one that follows me, which is pretty cool. You've got the zoom down below, 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 that's the word, below. It goes up to a 2X zoom. This is a digital zoom. And the difference between a digital and optical zoom, optical zoom will take lenses and move them closer or farther apart to zoom in, zoom out. A digital zoom will take the image that you have right now and just kind of push it in. So if you, in certain cases, if you get, if you use a digital zoom too much, you start seeing some pixelation, but you should be able to take a regular image and kind of crop it in a little bit for a zoom like effect. So with that said, with that done, we, we can control from here. As you can see, I've also put up the settings, uh, system settings. It'll tell you the software version. It'll tell you the firmware version. Uh, you can turn on and off gesture control. That brings up uh, Windows. In, in Windows, it'll bring up one box. In Mac, it'll bring up a different box. And yes, you can run it on a Mac. You can run it on a Windows machine. You have an anti-flicker, so you can turn it on or turn it off. Uh, we don't have it off right there. Uh, preset position, you can set the toggle on that, your language, and uh, export log, upgrade manual. You can do a manual upgrade. So I have this set up. And as you can see, there's gonna be a little bit of a delay, not too bad of a delay. And this is what you saw in here. So this is me coming from the camera all by itself. Now, as you can see, if I move around, the gesture gesture control is, is uh, turned off, so it's not gonna move me. So if I do this and hold it up for a second until it goes green again, now, if I move, camera moves with me. So we have the, the that camera set up here, setting up secondary camera. It's simple as video capture. And of course, if you're using any type of conferencing software, it'll find it as a video capture device. So we have three uh, OBS bot tiny cameras. So we're gonna do camera two, we're gonna add that. That's uh, premium audio with built-in dual omnidirectional microphone, but we have those turned off. We can turn, let's turn one of them on so you can hear how the audio sounds. And I'll mute this microphone. Yeah, we got audio, which is not switched over yet. So we'll leave that at that as we add these cameras. So this is, we've got camera one, which is this one, that the one you saw right here. So we're gonna add in, we got camera two, which is right here. That's that one. And of course, that's, that's where I'm pointing to that one right there. And then camera three, let's go ahead and add the third one in here. There's my third camera right there. And with this one, I want to, I don't want to control it with my auto gesture. I want to actually point that one down at the desktop. And so that's what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my OBS and go to three. I'm gonna move this over so I can see. And then I'm going to take the PTZ and I'm going to tilt it down and I'm gonna tilt, oops, tilt it over like that. And we'll do a zoom in. We'll zoom in all the way. So now we have that zoomed in. Uh, I 
want to configure the video a little bit on this one. So we'll go over into the properties and we'll go, we'll, we'll, we'll bring down the brightness just a touch here. We can turn off the auto white balance and we can adjust the white balance the way I want to see it. We can do the frequency, we'll, we'll hit that at 60 hertz and then gain's fine. The backlight, let's see, let's adjust some of the backlight right there, there we go. Uh, and the white balance were still good. Sharpness is, I think everything else is good for now. Uh, and then of course camera control, it's at 100% exposure as minus five. So you have different ways to adjust this. You can definitely adjust this from here. So we're gonna hit okay. And that's gonna bring back this. If you wanna reset everything, there's a reset button on the right. And you just do that and it'll go right back to uh, part one. Looking good. So now you can do your, your demonstrations. And this is a little bit jittery because this is, this is the preview side when it comes over here. In fact, I'll do that. If we come over here and we go like this, you'll see it a lot smoother. And, and now you have me here and I'm talking and I'll flip over to the other camera and there I'm talking over on that one. So we'll go here and we'll go back up and we'll go to two. So these two cameras we can keep unlocked. In fact, we'll, we'll, uh, these cameras will move with us and the third camera will not move with us. So we go back here, this camera stays pretty, uh, pretty stationary. And of course these cameras can go back and forth trying to keep me in center. And I can even, you know, the cool thing about this software is I can come in here and take a look at that. So if you have two people talking, you have person one here, you have person two here, their move, if they move around, the camera moves with them, which is pretty cool. And then of course the stationary, so I can turn around and talk about something. So, so now you're hearing it from one camera, you're hearing the audio from this camera. And of course you're seeing video from this camera and this camera over here. And as you can see, looks pretty nice. And uh, once again, if you were doing a three person shoot, you could have these two cameras uh, move around with the subject while that third camera can stay stationary and in front. But as you can see, we've now got a three camera shot. These cameras are fairly small. They can be put onto tripods. They can be mounted via these, these little magnetic mounts here. And what happens is I can take that mount and I can, let's uh, do that. I can take that mount and I fold it up and I fold it down like this. So when it gets onto a monitor, there's, let's say that's the monitor right there. You'll fold this in and it'll hold it down like this. And that little rubber area is so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't move around. So now I could take the camera and snap it right on top of the, uh, of the can of the mount, whether it be a monitor or laptop or whatnot, and uh, pretty and it holds pretty stable. So you can't see the let's see you see that from there. So that mount can go there. I could take one of these cameras, put it right onto that mount. In fact, let's do that. Snaps on, and I'll go to this mount. This is the one right here. I think yeah, we still have the functionality. Oh, uh, okay. So there we are, and I do this. There we go. Zoomed back in. So now I have three shots of me zoomed in and of course they're not following me at all. So I'll go like this and both of them will be following. There we go. Uh, so you have different options on how to get this all set up and these cameras are relatively small. So I could, I could literally have these poised in different areas. And as you can see, I can also take this and get some extra stands. And then I can move these around fairly easy. So many different ways to connect this up and uh, start doing your live streams. Are you doing any live streams? Let me know. You can uh, contact me over at Geekazine Think Magazine, put in a geek and you got me. And uh, if you, yeah, feel free to ask me any questions about this. Uh, the OBS Bot Tiny, uh, this little three camera system, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be trying that in, uh, in a couple other future unboxings to see how how well it really works and, and uh, yeah we'll go from there so all right well thanks a lot for watching you guys geek out you've been watching geek tech talk live i'm jeffrey powers